Mr. Thomas. And then, Kevin, let me say, I, as a person who helped write the charter, 100% concur with you. The charter is very clear. The city manager is an employee of the city council, and the city attorney is an employee of the city council. What Saeed Kasimi has done is to rip up the charter, and because he personally does not get along with Grant Alley, and he doesn't like him, and they don't have they have a contentious relationship, he has gone and got a little boy attorney to be. That's not a. I'm stating facts of the charter, please. You, you, want, you, you want to talk on this? Yes, I'm going to talk about department. that too. Yeah, okay. So you, yeah. let me just say, Kevin, I agree with you, brother. You're absolutely right. We don't need to see Gail Anthony's file. We just need to look at the charter. You swear to uphold a charter. You go by what the charter say. It is ludicrous. Ludicrous, Gail, that uh, you all are violating the city charter. I can point my finger at whoever I want. Let me let me finish. Uh, let me talk about the form. Could you could we have some decorum? Could you stop my clock, please? If he gonna talk, I'll, I'll yield to let him talk. Okay. Well, then you need to shut up while I talk. Don't point. Okay. So let me finish what I was saying. So we have a situation with our police department. And Mr. Henderson, with all due respect, you have this utopian way of looking at things where you bury your head in the sand. I didn't say bury it somewhere else. I said in the sand. There are serious problems with our police department. And if you don't know that, if you don't see that in the Harlem Lake case, we had police officers sleeping with uh, their informants. We have now these African-American women who have come forward. It's on the Facebook, the news press, Wink News are uh, investigating the story where they say they have to have sex with police officers to keep their freedom. And the irony that as soon as this uh, allegation, very serious allegation comes out, the police chief goes over on the, on the Facebook and he gives $13,000 to pay so all girls school. Talk about the rich irony of that. Mr. Henderson, I would encourage you, my friend, take your head out of the sand. Look at the facts that come before you. You have this tendency that I just find to be nauseating, where you say, well, we have to determine the facts. We have to look at the facts. And then when, when Kevin shows you, well, this is what the charter says, you say, well, we need to have some testimony. Testimony on something you can't read? What grade did you go? To, did you finish school in? This stuff is not complicated. It's not complex. It's simply black and white. Now, you may not like how I say it, but I'll tell you, Mr. Henderson, I will debate you any place, time, or day on the city charter, on the police department, on any issue you want. We get a panel of PhD professors from FGCU and let them judge our debate, and I will eat your lunch every day. Thank you, Mr. Henderson.